Good evening. Welcome to Evening Prayers. <clears throat> Doing a little different format tonight. This is a service from Night Prayer, the Office of Compline in the Methodist Tradition. The angels of God guard us 
through this night and quiet the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and glory. Christ is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Let us confess our lives to our God. Almighty God, long-suffering and of great goodness, we confess to you. We confess with our whole heart our neglect and forgetfulness of your commandments, our wrongdoing, thinking and speaking, the hurts we have done to others, and the good we have left undone. O oh God, forgive us, for we have sinned against you, and raise us to newness of life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our psalm for tonight is Psalm 4. When I call, answer me, O God of justice. From anguish you released me. Have mercy and hear me. O people, how long will your hearts be closed? Will you love what is futile and seek what is false? It is the Lord who grants favors to those whom he loves. The Lord hears me whenever I call him. Fear him, do not sin. Ponder on your bed and be still. Make justice your sacrifice and trust in the Lord. What can bring us happiness, many say. Lift up the light of your face on us, O Lord. You have put into my heart 
a greater joy than they have from abundance of corn and new wine. I will lie down in peace, and sleep comes at once. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. And then our gospel reading tonight is from Matthew's gospel, the fifth chapter, the first 12 verses. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. Amen. And now let us spend a few moments in silence thinking about the words we've just heard and about where our blessings come from and how blessed we are to be able to care for others and to serve others. Blessed are we indeed, for we are God's people. Amen. Guard us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Lord, save us. Save us while we are awake. Protect us while we are asleep, that we may keep our watch with Christ. And when we sleep, rest in his peace. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations 
and the glory of your people Israel. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. Lord, save us. Save us while we are awake. Protect us while we are asleep, that we may keep our watch with Christ, and when we sleep, rest in his peace. Let us offer up our prayers of thanksgiving and praise to our God in these moments. As you think of the ways in which your life has been blessed this day, those who have touched you, those who have cared for you, those who have made your life a little bit easier, who have filled you with joy and wonder. Let us lift up those people, those moments, in our silent prayers of thanksgiving. Eternal God and Father, under whose mighty and gracious protection all our days are spent, we thank you for the mercies of the day that is now past, for the continuance of so many and great blessings, for any good examples we may have seen, for any good words we may have heard or read, for all holy thoughts and right desires which your Holy Spirit has this day put into our minds, O Lord. Grant that these may not be unfruitful in us, but may work in us that for which you sent them. For Jesus Christ's sake, amen. Almighty God, by triumphing over the powers of darkness, Christ has prepared a place for us in the new Jerusalem. May we who have this day given thanks for his resurrection, praise him in this eternal city for which he is light even as we offer up our prayers for others on this day, O God, and in these evening moments. We continue to pray for all communities of faith everywhere, for those who continue to bear witness to your mercy, your wonder, your joy, your love, and your justice. We pray especially for the ministry of the United Reformed Church, not only in the East Midlands Synod, but in all areas We pray for those who continue to share the good news and continue to reach out in compassion and service to others. We pray for our broken world, for the communities in which we live, our neighborhoods, our families and friends. We pray especially this night for the Reverend Tony Jones in the hospital and for Hazel and the family, for Vicki Vicki Longbone, for the Reverend Claire and Reverend Brian Davison, for their daughter Susie, for the Reverend Derek Hopkins in his phased return to work, with the Reverend Samuel and Evelyn Selengue for Evelyn's father, Labson. We pray for the Reverend Martin Ferris, for the Reverend Stanley Crane in his continued recovery from surgery, for the Reverend Michael and Jean Forster, for the Reverend Graham and Vera Maskery. We pray for Father Andy Monia, parish priest. For the Reverend Jenny Mills, and we are grateful that her surgery went well, and we pray for her speedy recovery and for all those who are caring for her. We pray with Liz for her great nephew Ryan and for her daughter Emma and Emma's young son Leon. We pray for Cheryl and for Prince and the family and their ongoing care for her. <clears throat> we pray with Andy for Mike, his dad, and we are grateful for the ongoing care that Liz and Ruth offer to Mike. We pray with Paul and Allison for their sons, with Irene for John. And we pray for all those who grieve the passing of loved ones, especially at this time those who grieve for Jean Bushby, especially the Reverend Robert Robert and Carrie Bushy, Bushby and all the family. 
For those who grieve for the Reverend Betty Chadwick, especially John, her husband, Carl, Lori, Kay, and the family. We pray for those who grieve for Agnes Nalingue and Joseph Chibinja, especially the Reverend Samuel and Evelyn Nalingue and family. For those who grieve for Beryl Poucher, especially Neil, the Reverend Gillian Poucher, and Alice. We pray for those who grieve for Trevor Smith, especially for the Reverend Amanda Lenny, his daughter and family. For those who grieve for the Reverend Doug Watson. For those who grieve for Bridget Mawara, especially the Reverend George Mawara, Mawara and family. And in the silence of these moments, we would lift up those prayers that we can only speak to God. God, our Father, by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit and the loving obedience of Mary of Nazareth, Virgin and Mother, you gave your Son to be our Redeemer. By the same Spirit, fill us with your grace, heal the nations, and renew your creation until with Mary and all your saints we are crowned forever (coughs) in the glory of heaven through the merits of Jesus Christ our Lord. who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And now may the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. And may you rest in God's grace, love, and hope this night, friends. Good night.